Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please ignore my bad hair day because ये trip quite randomly plan हुआ था क्योंकि पहले हमने सोचा था temple visit करेंगे but then we decided to explore a new offbeat place. But first, let Krishna show you the whole temple. This is a very old temple which is like 50 years old. I'll link the location in the description for you guys to see. So once we were done with our lunch, we thought let's explore an offbeat place for a nice weekend ride. So we came across this new place which is Dandigna Halli Dam, which was not explored by me specifically. So I thought let us explore it. It was quite near to the temple as well. It was hardly one hour drive from the temple to Dandigna Halli Dam. But it takes approximately two hours to three hours from Bangalore city depending on the route taken. The place is situated in quite rural area so you'll find small vendors selling fruits, vegetable, you can grab one of those. After you grab it then you know you have something to eat on your way to the dam. So we have covered around 10 to 15 kilometers from the temple so another 15 kilometer more to go and then we'll be reaching the dam and the view is quite scenic guys as you can see here. From the highway, you need to take a village route which is a little bumpy and off-road. Other than that, there is no hassle for both bikes and cars. Parking is quite sufficient. This is one of the secluded and lesser known places near Bangalore. Even the locals are not much aware of this. It's quite breezy. Completely loving it. Dam as of now is pretty clean and not sure for long it will be clean because of the tourist littering. You can plan and get your swimwear as well of course be mindful and take precautions before swimming into deep areas in the dam. This is a very beautiful and serene spot. The dam is surrounded by hills and looks amazing. The best time to visit would be early mornings or evenings to avoid heat and crowd. There is only one small shop for refreshments, so better pack up food and water. There is no proper seating area. You can adjust and sit in the lakeside. My suggestion is to reach there early morning to avoid the crowd and the heat. Just follow the Google Maps closely. I will definitely link the location in the description. Overall, it's a very nice place to visit. I would rate it 9 out of 10. Please come with your family, friends. We just left the place and it was so good. Our evening went so peacefully. And after that, we thought, okay, let's visit Ghati Subramanya Temple, which was apparently closed. So we just went there, had some tea and we came back. Hi. I hope you liked this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye. समझ रहे हो? समझ रहे हो?